bitter. They are too bitter. That's the reason you will never see me on this altar. I begin to bitter. I dealt with bitterness a long time. Most of you are too bitter. You are too bitter with your pastor because your pastor did not come to visit you. Because your pastor did not come to visit you when, the, when you are in the hospital. You are bitter. When he passes, you'll be like, he passes. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> bitterness. <laughs> we have seen bitterness. So. <laughs> bitterness. <laughs> Bitterness is an instrument of affliction. Whenever you are bitter, you tend not to see the good of a, about a person. You know, when I'm bitter about you, I will never see anything good about you. Even if, even if God has blessed you, I will never see anything good. We have too many bitter members. Bitter members. hinders people from coming out from affliction. Whenever you are bitter, you have just simply accepted that for the rest of my life, I'll be here. The Bible says, when she was afflicted, when she lost the husband, when she lost the two children, the Bible says, she became bitter. The woman who was laughter, the woman who was bright, she made a decision and said, for the rest of my life, I'll be bitter. It's a decision to be bitter. Most of you have just decided to, to be bitter, to afflict yourself. You need to know how to deal with affliction. Affliction and bitterness. Look, how do we do with bitterness? Right. How do we do with bitterness? Number one, forgiveness and confession. Forgiveness and confession. There is no way you can deal with bitterness without confession. The Bible says confess to one another. In another way, if you want to deal with bitterness, you must be able to talk. Sit down. And don't, don't, don't be proud. Learn to humble yourself. My brother, this is what I did to you. I'm so sorry. You know, a, a heart that speaketh is a free heart than the heart that is calm. <clears throat> People who do not talk, they are afflicted inside. Self-affliction is not addressing issues. Bitterness starts when you begin to power up issues. You power up. You see, when that boyfriend left you, you did not confront him. Why he left you? Another one came. He left the same way. You did not confront him. And then you met the first one who left you by a mob. Imagine how you looked at him. <laughs> eh? To show that even when he left, you were what? Bitter. There are people that left you physically, but in your heart, they are still there. How must you deal with uh, bitterness? You, number one, you must what? Forgive. Number two, you must confess to one another. That's the only way to stay away from bitterness. That's the reason, my daughter, if you want to leave, if you want to go far, you must be a talking woman. Me, I don't love people who are silent. People who are silent, they are too problematic. In fact, I have come to discover 99% of people who are silent, those are the ones that commit suicide. Sit with your problem, deal with it. That's the reason. If you want to die, keep your problem. That's the reason. God says, confess to one another. Why? Through confession, we are relieved. Through confession, we burdens are lifted. Do you know that what you confess, the devil has got no power against you? 
You don't know. That's, oh, 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 wait. Let me give you a revelation. Do you know when, whenever you are sick, the first place where the devil attacks you is the mouth. You don't know. He will close the mouth of a person. And a person will become, talk. He will just become dumb. He can't talk. He can't talk. There is a demon that stays on the tongue. It attacks a person from confessing. Because in, in, the devil knows the moment you confess, that's the reason. Satanist, the, the moment they join there, they tell them, the day you will speak, you will do what? You will die. Are you listening to me here? The day you what? You speak, you will die. They don't want you to speak out. Because speaking out brings relief. It reveals whatever is revealed, the devil has got no power to afflict you with. That's the reason. If you want to go far, you must have people that you speak to. If you want to avoid bitterness out of your heart, find somebody who is neutral that you can talk to, that he can understand you. Otherwise, without that kind of a person, I promise you, you'll be so bitter with everyone. Bitterness. The Bible says, after she lost the husband and the children, she became bitter. At first, she was not bitter. She was joyful. But she made the decision. He said, because of what I've gone through, I've made this decision to become bitter. Because of this situation that I've gone through. Because of uh, how many problems I've, I've gone through. I just become so bitter. No job for me. I'll just begin to drink beer. I just begin to drink beer. No husband for me. Let me just begin to live carelessly. Carelessly. Since my business is not growing. Let me leave it. Bitterness. Bitterness. My ministry is not growing. If my ministry is not growing, what am I going to do? Let me just be bitter. Let me know. I stop coming to church. Bitterness has made a lot of people to lose their destinies. Being bitter to your own wife, you, you go to bed. Zero three, you are on WhatsApp. Low, low, low. Zero three. Your wife, she's waiting for you. Honey, aren't you going to sleep? Sleep. No. Honey, I need you. For where? Sleep. Zero five. You are bitter. Have you ever seen men? Even to, even to hold the wife by the hand, it's like they are robocop. <laughs> Come here. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. Do you see what is happening? They cannot even be tall. You can't even touch your husband. The man is so bitter, he's like a lion. Sit down. And then when you are fighting, when you are fighting, if he was once married, he'll be like, ah, I regret. Why I married you? I prefer Jennifer. Bitterness. You don't want to deal with the past. You don't want to release some certain people that wounded you. Most of you, when I look at you, I see you as wounded. Wounded lions. Wounded women. They beat. Have you ever seen a woman who beat her husband? <laughs> you are so bitter. <laughs> a husband. A husband who just wake up. He said, my children, starting from today, I'm leaving you. Ah, what did they do? They were not there. They are your children. You are just so bitter. Bitterness will cause you to miss your miracle. Never must you be bitter with your family. Never must you be bitter with yourself. If you want to live long, if you want to go to places that you have never been, 
never must you be bitter. Because bitterness is cancer of the bones. I have made the decision never to be bitter with anyone. Because I've discovered that the moment I am bitter with you, I, my heart stop listening to the heart of God. That's the reason. Never to be bitter with anyone. Even to your husband. Even to your children. Even to your uncles. Never be bitter with anyone. There are people that did evil to me. And some of them, when, when, when things were happening to them, I cried. I went, I helped them. Imagine you, the one who afflicted you. He comes to you, he says, please, I need help. Will you help you? You. Eh? Okay, let's just put it. There's a lady who is working with your husband. And now she's born again. And you meet each other in the same church. Same church. Eh? Imagine. Huh? And one day you want to go and see the man of God, you find her on the door. And she's the one who has got the key to open for you to see the man of God. How will you handle her? <laughs> it will be Jack Chan versus Jet Li. How do you know that people can't handle differences? You will see the way they begin to look at each other. What are you doing here? They will first start, what are you doing here? When you fail to handle bitterness, you will fight with everyone. I've ever seen women who fight everyone. Men who fight everyone. People who fight anyone they see is occupying a seat of leadership. They will fight. They are so bitter. They are bitter leaders. Lift your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Say I will never be bitter. Look. The Lord has helped me to deal with bitterness. I'm telling you. If I, tell, if, if I bring my wife here, she tells you what I've gone through. You, you know stand. The amount of rejection I have faced me. If it is you, my son, you will not stand it. You will not stand it. But you know what? Even when I'm rejected, I celebrate. You know one of the ways to deal with bitterness is to have joy. A person who laughs, a person who is joyful, does not carry anything in the heart. The problem of Naomi, she stopped laughing. She now made a decision based on the situation. She said, okay, this is what has happened to me. I've agreed. This is who I am. Never. Even if, look, even if, even if they have told you that you will die, remaining five minutes, celebrate. Celebrate. That's the reason the Bible says, joy doeth good like a medicine. Which means joy, it is, it is a vaccine. It's a vaccine. That's the reason you find that a person who loves so much, they don't take things in their hearts. You know, when you see me, when you see me, you know, a lot of people, when they look at me, they think I'm a very serious person. I've got a big heart. Very big heart. Me, I've got a big heart. If God gave me that short heart, I would have begun to take a whip. Say, you, you have refused to receive Jesus. Sleep here. Gives a big heart to a man who is not bitter. That's the reason some of you I tolerate you because I know if I chase you, huh? 
She's looking at me and said, Papa. He said, Papa, I rebuke them, chase me. Are you listening? Look, I must have a big heart. Do, let me tell you, let me tell you. Do you know if God gave prophets a short heart? I'm telling you. This church would have been half. I remember years ago. Like you see, I normally tell you every time you say, come with Bibles, what and what? Huh? Years ago, one man of God called me and said, my son, with what you have, you will never have anyone in your church. I could enter the church, I look at people, I say, you, you don't have a Bible, what are you doing, to what are you doing in church? I remove money, I say, take Go and take a taxi. Go home and sleep. You are not needed for my church. But according to time, they began to tell me, say, no, my son, you handle this. You handle it like this. That's how I received a big heart. I can swallow anything about you. Even when, look, me, I've seen people who spoke bad about me. And, and I, my sons will know. <laughs> and then I'll bring close. I will see myself like Papa who will disobey you on this one. And I will bring them close. A big heart. Never carry bitterness if you want to go far. I love a man called Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua. He spoke one thing. He said a joyful heart is an open heart. A joyful what? Is an open heart. Never carry bitterness. I have seen, look, 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 look. There is no man of God who has never been rejected. You are not the first one. I've understood that. I'm not the first one. I'm not the first one. My son, even those that you fed on your table, they will turn against you. Even those that you think they are with you. They'll be against you. That's affliction. Even your family. They don't believe in your God. He say, ah, which God are you worshipping? You. You say fire, fire, fire. Show us fire. I'm telling you. I was in Livingston. I was in Livingston. Listen. I was in Livingston. My teacher... The one was beating me in grade 8. I'm telling you. She was beating me in grade 8. I'm praying in my room. I just heard from my protocol. Dad, your teacher is looking for you. <laughs> I, I think my sons were there. You were there? Huh? You were there? She was, you were the one who came to tell me. Uh -huh. my teacher came so I was in prayer I was in prayer I said she'll wait first she wait let her wait she waited 30 minutes and I was also looking at the time then I came out I came out with my protocol and I went to meet her I looked at her she knelt down Look, wait, wait. She knelt down. And she said, man of God. Ah. I got so shocked. I said, ah. <laughs> wait, wait. I, I, you know, I got so shocked. This was my teacher. Now, look, this is grade eight. Are you listening? Yes. Now she's coming. She has knelt down. He said, bless me. I felt something in my heart. I said, this woman, she's humble. And I took my hand. I did not consider what she did, though. <laughs> the whips. <laughs> I did not. Because it was now another dimension. I did not look at what she did. I did not look at the affliction. I looked at her coming to a prophet. That time I was her pupil. But this time I'm her prophet. Amen. 
I went with her. I sat with her. And I was talking to her. My teacher. I was talking to her. Giving her prophetic insight. I prophesied to her. She was crying like this. Crying, crying. And after the prophetic session, she said, Papa, can I be your daughter? Hey! <laughs> Whenever power has been displayed, an open heart has been displayed, people embrace you. Imagine, imagine the way she came to me. And if I began to, if I remembered, I brought a record. They said, hey, hey, you thought you were very clever. <laughs> Imagine. Huh? They said, you thought you were very clever. You will see today. <laughs> and you know what? I opened my heart. I blessed her. And I came, I promise you. Do you know what I did? I told her, I said, starting from today, you are my daughter. Wherever I will go, I know you are my teacher. Wherever I will go, you will go there. Amen. That's the heart of love. Amen. The heart of love. Paying those that offended you with good. Can you sit together with your ex-boyfriend? Eh? Can you sit together with your ex-boyfriend? And then there's another woman next to him. You know what will be going on in your mind? Be like, cut you. Look at you. Remove bitterness. Most of you are so bitter. Lift your hands. I want to help you. You are too bitter with yourself. When you look at yourself, you'll be like, who am I? Who am I? You are bitter with yourself. Some of you, you are so bitter with your past. You are so bitter with your fathers. How, how they raised you. What they did to you. You are so bitter. I want you to pray. That God must give you grace. He must give you what? He must give you what? I don't want you to become like Naomi. I want you. I want you to be a celebratious man. A man of joy. A man of forgiveness. Lift your hands. Pray to God that God must help you. To forgive. To release the pain. Pray. 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 Rise up on the feet. Rise up on the feet. Rise up on the feet. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Shaka praneli handeli masko braha yataka paraba handeli braha shika prano skiva ha ela nusi irasa lisa hands pray 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 prasko braha era pakaya pray pray lima sata kabaya meka tosko brahi ila mando losko braha ri prahase ikadusa yakaso brahare ela manduske brahado shika pataya ha rekete kete. In the name of Jesus, she broke us, Kabrahida. In the Mantos Kobo, Era Kaya Damanda Luskabraha, she kept it. In Ramaka Toskobo, Elemenda Lia Haruske, Kapras Kubaha, Shia Pakatoba, Elemenda Libra Hazalia, Shekete Braha, Ripa Haskobraho, Iramanda Libra Ha, Leketete, Shia Taprahade. In the name of Jesus, she pranosko Braho. In the name of Jesus. Sit down. 
Sit down. First time. It's my first time, Miss. Huh? It's my first time. Your first time. Mm-hmm. Where's your mom? Where's your mom? She's in Pretoria. Huh? Pretoria. Do you know her? No, I don't know. The her. prophetic ministry is all about speaking. Yeah. Huh? I don't Do you know, know her? her? No, I don't. Ask her where she's coming from. Pretoria. Huh? Pretoria. You're coming also from Pretoria. Yes. You, go and sit there. Go and sit there. You waste my prophecy. You waste my prophecy. What is the problem? Huh? Huh? She is HIV positive and she can't hear. She can't speak. She can't breathe. She breathes with her mouth. So you want her to be healed? Yes, men of God. Yes, men of God. Yes, men of God. Yes, men of God. Viewers, viewers, zoom it, look at this. This is ARVs, as you can see. This is ARVs. And uh, this is a medicine that they prescribe when your immune system is low. And as you can see that this woman, she's on treatment. She's on treatment. I'm not telling her to stop drinking ARVs. I will pray for her. What I'm doing, the grace that God has given me is not a joke. I'm going to pray. In fact, I will not pray for her. But as I'm here, the grace I have is rubbing on her. Oh, yes. Huh? Huh? My daughter also. Your daughter, she's HIV positive. Yes. So she's drinking also yes. this. Huh? Yes. Where are you? Media, 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 media. Listen. Go there. 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 Pastors, what are you doing? Can you help them? Can you help them? Stand there. Uh. Stand there. She can't breathe. Huh? Yes. You can't breathe. Mm. Yes, prophet. You can see because of because of the sickness, uh, it, it has affected her. So, this sub 
abnormality of growth of growth so we need to pray for grace all this Jesus. all this you are coming from where Limpopo huh Limpopo who who told you about this change my brother did. what did he tell you he told you what what did he tell you HIV specialist papa HIV specialist papa stand there just stand there just stand there wait and see you know I was watching an article today where I was written I think on an international news on an international news i think bbc bbc <laughs> i'm telling you that one day you will not have space here i promise you you will not have space because of the need of people you know god does not raise a prophet without a need i'm telling you he doesn't he always raises a prophet where there's a need. Where there's no need, no prophet. Who's born in June? Who's born in June? Come here. You don't need to think. Tell me if you don't know. I'll tell you. I don't know. Papa. Huh? I don't know, Papa. Come here. You. You. Come here. You yesterday parodush ilamaha sukalia ilabar. Yesterday I saw you in a hospital. In a hospital. You know, you were admitted. You fainted. Huh? What happened? I fainted. Huh? I fainted. You fainted. Yes. It was around seven. Yes. In the evening. Prophesy major, major. Do you know why you fainted? Huh? Yes. Headache. Headache. And also, there's something inside you that I must correct. Come here. Wait. Stand there. Where's your mom? She's in Pretoria. Lift your hands. What do you want God to do for you? Huh? I've asked the question. What do you want God to do for you? Hey, speak up. Have you heard me? It's an altar of what? It's an altar of fruits. Please. Those that have got financial barrenness, marital barrenness, I'll tell you when to eat the fruits. Even if when you are 60 or 70, it's possible. <laughs> it will deliver safely. Woman, what do you want God to do for you? Hurry up. Come here. Huh? I see bees. I see bees. And the bees, they are. Uh, I see bees. And these bees, they are busy. Arusha, Balia, Ikarush. I see bees. I see bees. I see bees. I see bees. And these bees are, are flying. They are flying. They are flying. And then I'm seeing them taking. Arush, Ileba. They are flying on. These are plants, and then they are taking sweet nectar, and then honey, honey, honey. 
Honey. What's your name? Anita. Honey, honey, honey. Honey, 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 honey. Anita. 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 Anita, the Lord says as the bees are flying. The same way your name is honey, the Lord says you will never lack sweetness. I receive. The Lord says you will never lack sweetness. The Lord says you will wipe away your tears. The Lord says affliction will not rise again. The Lord says your sickness has stand into healing. The Lord says you will not die before your time. The Lord says any attack from the pit of hell, it will not be for you, says the Spirit of the Lord. I receive. Thank you. Go! Go! Bring her here. Are you the firstborn? No. What number are you? Two. You are number two. Yes. Where's your Where's your firstborn? My brother. He's in Windbank. He's in Windbank. Yes. Is healed also. Listen. Can I give you good news? Yes, please. You're okay. Thank you. Okay. I can't mention a lot of things. I know. But you're okay. Thank Just you. Vomit, vomit. Order. She's going to vomit. Order. two hands for Jesus. Hold her. Bring her close. Wait, wait. Break! Leave her. Thank you, Jesus. Shh. Thank you, Jesus. 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 You raise me for such kind of people healed blood go out as I praise your holy name you deserve the glory lift your hands and the honor Lord I lift my hands in worship as a praise Play in the spirit, holy name, for you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Thank you. Stand up. 
Look at me. Look at me. Go, HIV. Go. Lift up. You infirmity, I command you. We shall in Jesus' name, she's free. For you are great, you do miracle so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you, for you are great, you do miracle, so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you. Shh. Let her go and test tomorrow. Okay. Let her go and do what? Test, men of God. Let her go and test. Yes, the man. blood is clinched. Oh, yes. I saw an angel removing contaminated oh, blood. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank and you, I Jesus. saw God putting new blood. Thank you, Jesus. For and the Lord says, her. she's healed. Oh, thank you for your Your children are healed. This Sunday, come with everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Come with everyone. Oh, yes. This Sunday, come with everyone. Oh, yes. I want to touch them. Oh, yes. The Lord will do amazing things. Put your two hands for them. Lift your hands wherever you are. Say Jesus. You are my healer. You are my healer. You are my deliverer. You are my deliverer. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Shout Amen. Amen. Put our two hands for Jesus. This coming Sunday, we have an awesome, 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 awesome service. Wherever you're watching me from, whether you're watching me from Soweto, you are watching me from my melody, you are watching me from Cosmo City. You are watching me around Honeydew. This Sunday, I am having a service called Fresh Oil. Fresh Oil. And uh, I want you to come with your perfume. Come with your perfume. I'll be spraying perfume to remove every demonic odor over your face, your business, your marriage, your ministry. And I promise you, your life we will metamorphose and i'll be also blessing you with a rose flower representing the love of god over your life join me this coming sunday be my guest i'm ready for you the holy spirit is ready for you jesus is ready for you and everybody who is watching they are ready for you god bless you see you this coming sunday put your two hands for jesus shalom shalom put your two 